should automatically hit record, which it did. We should do a little remix of that. Like we should get, some, get, a, get a remix going. Kind of like, remember when Daily Show, uh, Trevor Noah took over and it was like a weird remix of the Daily Show theme? And everybody was like, no, I hate it. I love it. I hate it. I don't particularly love Trevor Noah. Um, at, on that, in that show. He's fallen into a groove. I know, it's just not my groove. It took him a while. I like it. I like Trevor Noah. It's just not my groove. I mean, he is nowhere. Not his, my... His levels of, like, smarmy snark are nowhere compared Here's to Here's the Stewart. thing. Even today, even, even in this day of our Lord, November, whatever it is, 2021. I don't know how much I would be down watching John Stewart these days. So there's some questionable things. Yeah, like it just like my not everything ages well. My sensibilities have changed. Yep. Um, yeah, <clears throat> my politics have gone. Are we live? Further are we, are left. We um, yeah, we are live. We've been just oh, talking cool. about Trevor Noah this whole time. So here's the thing that I think is the problem with some of these shows that I'm like, why? Because they have such a big audience. Yes. Right. And they could use that platform. But then they like do this little like middle of the road thing. Absolutely. Try to hit everyone. And it's like, I get what you're doing, but there's like a real problem. I, I think that the best person who, who does a good job of it, who uses his platform, which is larger than it, he had prior, that does a decent job is John Oliver. He does like oh, yeah. in depth well, yeah. pieces yeah. Um, about real problems. Like his homelessness piece was really good. He highlighted like, yeah, all these like liberals, like when it comes down to like dealing with homelessness, they're like, oh, not in my backyard, which uh-huh. is a big fucking problem. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, I totally agree. Um, also, everyone, welcome to the stream. Yo. <laughs> gain, get gain. I think it's just on us that we're getting. Get this. gain. <laughs> I think it's just us and our ear, ear, oh, our ear bones. You know what I can't wait for? Uh, Christmas. I can't wait to lose the 2022 <laughs> elections. Oh, it's going to happen in a big It's going to be so way. bad. It's, it's going to be gonna so it's bad. It's going to be real bad. Real bad. Everyone steal yourself now because that's almost surely what's going to happen. It's going to be real bad, you guys. Uh, new maps that are not favorable. New, uh, like, the Democrats not really passing They don't. Anything. It's what? Just do the thing. I, dude, that's all you got to do. What you can the, start winning what elections. The, what are you all you doing? gotta do is do the thing. Like you, they. This is the opportunity. Yes. And they're like, well, we just we want to yep. make sure that everyone like stop. Like I don't give a shit about stop. Joe Manchin. I don't give a shit about Chris and Stop Sinema. it. What you need to do is you need to make their lives as miserable as humanly possible until they're like, fine. It's like, it's just everyone else is like, yeah, but they're literally killing. People. Like, well, that's that's the fun. Well, you know what? Yeah. That's their choice. And you know, like we just gotta make sure that we bipartisanship give them is the, worth dog shit if you're God. like if you're like oh um well it's between like killing a thousand people and like no people and they're like well we come together and it's 500 people it's like blow the shit out the door like let's not kill anybody yeah it's ugh. it's ugh. very frustrating sorry we, we were coming in hot today man it's just it you can't think about it too much because you just get too mad. Ooh. All I do is think about it speaking of <laughs> all I do is think about it constantly guess, it's, guess it's who my America job. is that's right. That's right. It's America oh. time. <laughs> We're Tedward. In 300 years, you know what's going to happen? We're going to bring back the Nazis. God. Bring them back. No. Bring them back. A new wave of Nazis. Uh, oh, oh, I love it. No. I love it. This is America. R-nar. This is <laughs> R-nar. <laughs> R-nar, bro. <laughs> yes. Love it. What's, what should I click? Yeah, that's yes. Click. You have to use the triggers. The triggers. I do not. <laughs> this is a weird one um, that I get sometimes. I did have to use the trigger. Yeah, it changes from pushing the circle in <laughs> to the trigger, clicking. and it changes within civilization. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was a weird one. Tech diff. <laughs> <laughs> well, whoop. Just can, uh Yes, sir. Um, Excuse me? We have some baking tech, powder. Some tech diff. A, 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 there you go. Excuse me? A baking powder. 2K. Yeah, so how's everybody doing out there in radio what's in radio land? Go- <laughs> what's going on? We have to Hello we, world! We should put a like a sepia filter on our thing and just do transatlantic accents. <laughs> our boys down in the war on the eastern front. 
Yeah, you should do something. <laughs> just do something. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah, sounds cool. Like, why don't <laughs> just, you, just do it, man. This school has over 90 students. At oh, shit. That's so many people. America. I am currently, it doesn't mean I'm at all, uh, like, safe, but, like, I'm currently with my booster, like, at the tippy top of my maximum protection. Yep. I have the least amount of chance catching COVID right now, and every other day after this is less. Here's the thing. This is America. We have the freedom to get sick and die. Yeah. I love having the freedom the to get sick and dying. And, oh, Fran France. The great beast Off with their heads. Just listen. Um... The First Amendment guarantees my right to get sick and to die. To get everybody else around me sick. And my kids will get sick and die before I let Joe Biden put a robot in my body. Yeah. So part of the, like, this is, uh, I totally agree that you should close it down. It's, like, ridiculous that you're letting, like, kids, like, get sick like this. Zoom, Especially man. not just kids, but families. But part of the issue, and it's not so much in high school because kids can kind of do you, you know, know take care I of themselves? Oh, no. I clicked. That, maybe? No. Maybe one of the triggers? Oh, God. Let's not go, Brandon. Veracity, Jane. Let's not. Yeah, what? Like, that's such a dumb... Yep. So, I can't... The dumbest oh, meme I ever. I figured it out. Okay. Uh, but, like, so for kids going to school, one of the problems, which pe par parents had so much trouble with, and I'm sure some of you can relate, um... We don't have like universal daycare and getting a daycare at all is really hard. Correct. And school as opposed, like not only is school providing like food for a lot of people who are lower income, it's also providing daycare so parents can go work. And so Correct. when you have these like complete lack of resources, you can't expect parents to know what to do because they're going to lose their job if they can't take care of their kids or they're going to lose their kids if they leave their kids at home and they have to go to work. Um, it fucking sucks. We need to invest like so much into infrastructure, into what this country actually needs, and not just put it more and more things on schools or like do let the police fucking do things that they shouldn't be doing altogether. Uh, I I don't have a very positive view of the police, but they do have that. We're trying to have them get rid of like all of the ills of society. But Matt, what about all the people who live in rural states? Yeah, what is Don't it? they have a say? What is it like to live in one of those places? Don't they have a say in the politics of the day? My all-time favorite student, staunch Republican, but honestly a good person and reasonable, was so close to declaring chemistry as his major, and now he's going to political science. Rough. Yay, poli-sci. <laughs> Rough. That's not a red flag at all. God, go into chemistry, man. You can always do poli-sci later. Shit, I got into politics, and I don't have a poli-sci degree. Fuck. Yeah, you don't need a degree to be president. All you need to be is a terrible person. Evidently. I thought this unit w could be promoted. Where's the promotion guy? Fine, there it is. Jeez. Where's the promotion guy? Hey, promotion guy. Range. No, I want battle. I guy. didn't realize we were going to get so so um, so heated. I came in hot. Yeah, yeah we're coming I came in, in hot. hot. I'm all in. I'm I, all in. I think it's the gain that I can hear in my... It's like making me angry. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I could turn it down. No, I like it. Okay. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm passionate and yelling. <laughs> like it would have been great to have someone doing science, even though a conservative, even through a conservative lens, he's a super reasonable kid. Like I literally opened up his world and his parents are even grateful. But alas, yeah, that sucks. Um, I've seen it a lot too. Um, I, I wish that like you did all you could. Um, it's gotta be up to the person <laughs> to want to do it. dead now. No, he's not dead. Full of beans. I got so many beans in my bindle. Barbarians yeah. approach. Yeah, the thing about like uh, when you do, when you do science stuff and you learn about it is like the lens doesn't matter. The the, the whole point of science, and that's I, I will separate this out. The whole point of science get is to get here. like cut through certain um, biases that we have to try to remove those as little as possible. I'm not saying anything anybody doesn't know. But that's why we have the scientific method. Now, results and what experiments you run, completely biased. Everybody is biased, and what they bring to the table is biased. So don't don't try to think that like, oh, following the science is just going to be like this this completely neutral thing. It's not. But the actual method itself is there for a reason. Yeah, yeah. Scientific literature is 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 a uh, very um, 
what I want to say. It's very impenetrable. A lot of white papers and stuff, for sure. Did you say white papers? White papers. Wow. <laughs> that's what they're called. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's, all, that's all it is for you. It's all, that's all. I only read the white papers. That's it. My pages are yellow. <laughs> my, my only. And I use them to look up businesses. What's the internet? <laughs> Do you still use the yellow pages? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I get them at my house every so often. They're yeah. like, here, here you go. Here's a phone book. Like, thank, thank you. I think that the all this stuff about this, the, the vaccines and, and uh, let's say Especially that thing that you said that I'm not going to say on screen, stream so we don't get, you know, <laughs> fucking knocked down, um, has shown just a total lack of scientific literacy and, and statistical People literacy. People are so, it's like they want to be dumb. Yeah. They're like, no, 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 no. Listen, you doctors, I don't agree with something about you. Yeah. I think it's that you're smarter than me and I don't like it and I'm going to I'm going to do the opposite. Yeah. So give me the horse medicine. It's it's to to evaluate which I think it's great that you're you're having your students do um do reading scientific papers but like statistics is a very very useful study and it is very uh misunderstood because part of statistics is you will never know with 100% certainty. You and you don't even do that. You do like the the anti uh what is it called? Um like the the negative value like you're always going to like this isn't the, the case so like understanding what all that means is like super important but it doesn't like work well by just explaining it in five minutes like a five minute um refresher course on statistics doesn't do me. it we're talking about all of the red-blooded homegrown americans who live in uh the real country yeah. not not those fancy pants city dwellers but all the people who live out in the real world, the real America, uh, where we make food <laughs> and Caitlin, f our cows. Uh, I wish we were just talking about Indian people. It happens the corn literally dimension. everywhere. And I soybeans to. with liberals, with conservatives, with everybody. Scientific literacy is really it's bad. It's bad. Um, Molly ranchers, hopefully, will be entertaining. We're all we're all hopped up on mad juice today. Hopped up on Mountain Dew and nervous hairs in the corn dimension. Man, the corn dimension is something else. Yeah, it's everything. It's very sweet and syrupy. Get him. <laughs> Nervous Hair is enjoying this. Yeah, we are mad. We're mad today. We're we're Let's mad. Get mad. Howard on Maine? Hell no. Mad on Maine. Just every time I'm on Twitter, I'm like, oh, they're they're gonna mess it up. Like I'm like, okay, let's see what the what the politics people are doing. Nope, they're gonna mess it up. Yep. Like all you need to do is end the filibuster and then you can make real change. And there's like, why isn't real change happening? Oh, we're we're trying, but these four Republicans are ruling the country. And it's like, Molly, hey, we're mad at the world tonight. Just end the get the So part of it is just like change the part of it is like knowing how that apparatus like works and having having had exposure to it. It's not um yeah, there's like two people at the top that are like, "Oh, these are the fucking worst people, like they're the ones that are stopping progress. There is four or five people right. behind them yes. that are just as taken because when you have large co- corporations and people chasing oh. money for their campaigns, that's who's dictating that's that the shit. Problem. Yes, that's all who's dictating yes. that shit. It's not. It's not you or me, and it's not that they're immune to pressure either. But the party apparatus of itself seeks to quash any sort of popular uprisings. Um, you saw that with. I, I think that like. You know, you see that with Black Lives Matter, right? You have like corporate responsibility, corporate responsibility, Black Lives Matter. You know, businesses just saying, "Oh, we support Black Lives." Yes. In what fucking way? All you've done is co-opt that language. Didn't you see the commercial? Oh, I did see many commercials. So yes, it's racism is over, Matt. Oh sure, yeah, no, it's totally. Um, yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of experience with the the party structure here in indiana at least i was a delegate there what what yeah it barely exists no we're in indiana that's a joke yeah that's okay <laughs> if they don't know by now <laughs> if they don't know by now get out of here but yeah it's it's all fucked it's so frustrating though because there is a lot of people a lot of people i work with a lot of people i talk to who genuinely like are working hard and want to see change but the the structures are the things that keep them um out of it and i think that that's what's missing is a lot of people want to pick an issue or a thing and it's you need like a structural analysis of like why everything's so fucked and i'm gonna i'm gonna you know 
do a little uh, behind the scenes thing. It's there's a reason. It's it's the fucking economic structure that that controls our life. It's capitalism. That is what actually links all this shit together. <sighs> um, one of my one of my warriors just got killed. I'm so sorry. Um, last time I played. By the way, we restarted. We should at least give an intro to what we're doing. So we're, we're not restarted. Resu- we're not resuming the game that I had last time. There's too many barbarians all over the it place. Was, yeah, it was not happening. There's too many, man. And we're not doing the first game because we couldn't get off the damn island. So <laughs> we are we we are now starting a new game. We're, we're trying we're, again. We were going to America, but then it crashed. Not at all foreshadowing. Um, yeah. <laughs> so now we're playing again. It's France. Uh, late stage capitalism. <laughs> Don't you hate capitalism? Mike, I... Sorry, Grun Art Malk. I don't know who Mike is. Probably somebody else. They left the chat. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. To but, start Japan equals hard mode. Yeah, I don't know why we started with that. <laughs> it was just random. Like, we, we just randomly picked it. That's true. And we didn't really no, think no, about it. No, not the first one. The first one, I think we... we yeah, but we didn't know we were going to be on one island and with no way off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Although we could have predicted if it was true start. <laughs> like, we, we know what Japan is. Yeah, it's an island. It's an island. <laughs> and once you're there, you're, you're stuck there. Until you, uh, like, build a boat. Can I just say also, so I'm all out of White Claw, and so I have one left over from when I bought, like, these, these individual things because they were a new. This is Vista Bay. <laughs> that's that's Aldi brand White Claw or Truly. Uh, so that's I have right. I have the White Claw Surge. Holy crap! White Claw Surge sucks. It's not good. I mean, White Claw's not great. I love White Claw so it's much. It's fine. It's fine. But I like, like it of all the seltzers. It is my. I mean, talk to me when they have a lemonade version. So, sucks. Fucking sucks. If they had a lemonade one, they'd, they'd be better. So the so the thing too, is like. So White Claw Surge, it's 8% alcohol, it's 220 calories. Ooh, City State Quest. And it tastes like you're drinking like slightly seltzered vodka. Like it's very, it's a lot stronger, yep. but White Claws in themselves have 100 calories and they're 5%. You can drink two White Claws for less calories and get more alcohol and it doesn't taste like garbage. So. Yeah. I mean, no, that's, that's the appeal. It's yeah. the calories. It's I, the, it's I just the carb level. It, to me, it's like um, I like be- freaking diamonds. I like beer, but like I I like beer. I like beer. Okay. I like I like beer, beer. <laughs> but it fills me up like way fast. So. And working out. <laughs> yeah, I like beer and working out. With what were his friends' names? Uh, uh, Donkey Dong. Donkey Doug. Dong. Doug. Uh, squee. Squee. Um. I don't remember the other one. I can't remember. One of those is real. The other one is not. So that was such <laughs> a good, like such a funny. Yeah. Whipping the pages. <laughs> um, okay, I like. I Molly, like beer. I can't disagree with you more. I love White Claw. Well, actually, I do agree with you. I love White Claw. I don't necessarily love myself. I'll give you that one. Just working on. Yeah, working I'm, on that one. I'm still. working through stuff. <laughs> working on that one. <laughs> and Red Thirteen, we're gonna we're gonna have to get you a hard seltzer sometime. You, we'll give you a, a choice. Your fridge is literally full of hard seltzer all the time. I think that somebody- I had one on accident one time at your house. I thought it was a normal seltzer and it turned out to be alcohol alcoholic. Alcoholic. Can confirm. Um yeah, I had a uh, uh, some Is there an alcoholic here? <laughs> I'm looking for an alcoholic. The watermelon white claw are my favorite and I believe I had one over at uh the Red 13's fridge. I just <laughs> that's the place that's, to go that's the bar I just hung out at the fridge this is the fridge and uh, they were great uh, I actually found at Payless around here you could buy just a <laughs> large pack of the watermelon which is great you can just get a watermelon too I love watermelon I had just I got like those a, too. a literal yeah like a real one real watermelon yep. no come back I want to fight you fight 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 and also I have uh, the other thing I'm drinking is Cardinal Spirits straight bourbon whiskey. Really good. Cardinal Spirits does a good job, and I like their graphic design on the bottle. They're out of Bloomington, this state. Yeah, Cardinal's good. You know who's good? Who's got good bourbon is Bear Wallow Distillery. I don't think I've ever had it. It's down near Nashville, Indiana. That's a pretty place. It's the other Nashville. 
what's the <laughs> oh, that's what their tagline is <laughs> not we're that, the we're the other nashville no 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 not that nashville <laughs> they're 50 percent of our wedding whiskey one. Yep, that's true. Is Cardinal 50%? Cardinal. Yeah, Cardinal. Cardinal is 50%. I've had some of your wedding whiskey. It's good. They have a good bramble. Have you had their bramble from Cardinal? No, but I have seen the bramble. The bramble's good. Yeah. It's good with like uh, um My liege. Oh, no. Molly, if you don't like White Claw, what is, your, what is your drink of choice? If you drink at all. I'm also interested in creating a lasting legacy. Yeah, that's pretty cool that you both put that in the barrel to age so yeah hopefully like the marriage itself it gets better with age or you just throw it out miller light hey i'm not i i like a cheap beer uh tim and i will will get us a uh six pack of a uh, little bit of rolling rock sometimes oh freaking love the, rolling rock <laughs> from the glass the old the o- glass, glass line, line tanks, tanks of old latrobe, latrobe. <laughs> that's so those are some crispy boys those rolling rocks <laughs> <laughs> you get a ham yeah. <laughs> gotta get some hams ha- hams i will do sometimes very rarely but Col- college is all about the keystone ice oh rough fill your sinks <laughs> with ice and put ice in the ice like pbrs are great obviously oh yeah i get the PBR. pbrs cheap beer um so what's the uh, probably my go-to cheap beer which i have to go up north to get it at my parents house is um Old style. This old is the best. Style, old style, yeah. It's Fucking classic, love old classic, style. Classic, classic beer. What's what about uh, what's the the Walgreens beer? Oh, I don't know if they make it anymore. Big flats. Big flats. It's the water that makes it's it. It's the the tagline is the it's the water that makes it. It tasted so, so bad. bad, so fucking bad. I can't believe I actually found it. Really bad. There was a Walgreens around here that had it. And I'm like, well, I gotta have the Walgreens beer. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it, man. I'm gonna make some Stonehenge right here on this island. Do it. I say do it. 36 turns, it's not going to happen. <clears throat> Someone else is definitely going to get it before me. We'll see. Schlitz. Schlitz is okay. Oh, Schlitz is great. Yeah. So there's a there's a bar here in town that does a $5 beer and shot. And yep. one of the w- best ones was Schlitz Face. Yep. And it was a Schlitz and a Bullet Bourbon. Yep. And it was just like such a good, classic, I'm drinking in a bar combination of flavors that is my go-to when i go to bars so like if they have a beer and shot i'll just shot. whatever it is yep whatever just give me the beer and shot if it's fi- it's usually about five bucks which is perfect that's what i used to do uh but i'm doing a little carb now so i'm always like do you have any seltzers i love a seltzer but it is i do too almost exclusively not the beer and shot it's true yeah. <laughs> can i get the beer and shot but instead of the beer can i get a <laughs> seltzer and instead of the shot instead can the i shot, get a seltzer can i get the well? next higher one can, can i get I the get higher <laughs> on the shelf this is nicer yeah do you have oh, anything that um can't mint. is better i guess i'll do that i don't know why i don't usually do the encampment districts because i don't do military but you know i it feels like chicken tonight <laughs> <laughs> it feels like <laughs> feels like chicken my boyfriend yeah. is a keto yeah seltzer's That's perfect what, for it you know, I I used to be like, oh, you don't eat bread, but uh, bread is so good. It is so good. And I haven't eaten bread in like a year, bread and I've lost so 40 good. pounds. And it's like, you know what? It works because you just lose weight. You just lose weight like nothing. Bread is very good. Um, I still mostly just eat salads, so like, I, I don't know. Yeah, I eat salad and it's most and of the time meat. what I eat. Soups and salads. God, s- having a soup, get out of town. Is there anything better? <clears throat> Tell you what, doing low carb? I've eaten eat a lot of pork rinds. It's just <laughs> there's a lot of pork rinds happening. Uh, they make good croutons, good sub for chips and nachos. I don't eat meat. Just, I can't have I just, can't have those chicharrones. You got to eat the just lots of pork rinds. Yeah, big soup time. Oh, it's soup time. Yeah, go in, go in, uh, warm it up with a nice belly full of soup. Hell yeah. I make a big salad every Sunday and I eat it for lunch all week. I make a big salad every night and I eat it for lunch every night. <laughs> then you gotta make it every night. Yep. Just make a real big one. Uh, kale and spinach. That's the that's the ingredients. <clears throat> that's it. Well, kale, spinach, uh, these like crispy beets. Okay. And um, sometimes fake chicken, like. Uh, sure. Yeah. And then uh, olive oil and balsamic. I do like the the package of four petite lettuce heads, <laughs> the fancy ones. <laughs> And I shred those up, and then I'll cut up some peppers and some cucumbers and some cilantro and cherry tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes too. Yeah, put those and in there. And then I cherry put tomatoes. some goat cheese in there 
and some cheese, some parm crisps, and some pork rinds. Uh, definitely got to get the blue cheese dressing. Put some pork rinds in there. Get some tahini. Get some MSG. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that salt. It's not salt. It's the salt taste. It's the salt that makes it. Yeah. Uh, Crispy Beats is a great name and also very tasty. Welcome to the stream. We are Crispy Beats. Crispy Beats. I love a beat. <laughs> Let's My, gotta love a good beat. Uh, like them raw, like them cooked. Uh, there's a community garden around here that um, had a bunch of beets, and I went and picked them. Just and then uh, beets. shaved them down and cut them up and put them in balsamic and yeah. cooked them up, and they were so good. <clears throat> Some beets by Dre. Yeah. And I was Dre. And they were my beets. So I didn't notice all these barbecues. I was, like, chasing this one scout, and then I ran into this whole mess. This whole mess of barbs. It barbs. Ah, barb. Look at all these barbs. Ah, barb. I wonder if they're going to make a new season of that. Ooh, I, I'm going to win if I do that again. I think. You should win. Not the, I win the game. <laughs> yeah, you should win. We just win the game. Just win. Just dance. Going to be okay. <laughs> yeah, take that. I think next week we... Get are, him! Oh, give you all an update for who was... Uh, Who's taking bets? Because I would have put my money differently. Guess who played racquetball? Tim and I played racquetball last Sunday. We did. It ruled. It was great. Yeah. I was so sore the next day. Yes. I uh, I had been playing it prior, so I wasn't as I was so sore. sore. But then I played I played it the next day too. Uh, so yeah, that'll, I was, do that'll do it. That, that was very sore. And I had um my so it's been like two and a half months now because. Uh, some things happened to my massage therapist. I couldn't see him. So I had I saw him today. Holy shit. I have never been in more pain. <laughs> oh, my God. He just, he knows where to, like, hit. And he just digs his fingers in there. And it, it is less a massage, more a exercise in uh, pain management for me if I can get through it. I'm so sore. So sore. So I, I played duck pin bowling the day before we did racquetball. And uh, down in, in Indianapolis, and I realized that this, my middle finger, my right hand is the finger I use to propel the duck pin ball, bowling ball, uh -huh. right on the tip of it. And then halfway through racquetball, I realized I had split this finger like wide open. Oh no! And just like was Oof. almost bleeding, but I was like, oh, it's fine. And it, it hurt so bad. Like every time I hit the ball, it was like, no, <laughs> it just split a little more every time. So yeah, yeah, not not my actual therapist. Uh, this is not even my physical therapist, who is the other person I play racquetball with. This is my massage therapist. I need a lot of therapy. I drink a lot of White Claw. <laughs> I hate myself so much. <laughs> um, but yeah. We're not getting old. Nuh-uh. I have um, no therapists. So together we one, average out to... Uh, one and a half. Uh, one and a half therapists. <laughs> But yeah, like uh, he's great. He's great. Um, love playing racquetball. Hopefully, we'll continue to do more racquetball. Yeah, man. I don't know. If, Super fun. I don't know if you're you're still into it. it we should have stopped after three games, though. No, five games was it. Did we play five? No, we played. We four. played four. I'm just saying we should have stopped because I won, I won the first three. Oh yeah, but I won the last and one, then, so that's why we shouldn't have. <laughs> we shouldn't have stopped. Yeah. That's my strategy is. I have endurance, so if I can tire everybody out, I can just win I by was, default. I was super pooped. <laughs> yeah. After that, though, I, I was dragging. Uh, if I can do that, that's perfect. That's my strategy. <laughs> Ooh, a new continent. Hey, anybody's well. Like I'm all down to play racquetball with whoever wants to play. Um, it's so fun. I I can't get enough of it. Can't get enough of racquetball. Uh, it, it it's been years. I recently started playing again after what I, the last time we played was probably like four or five years ago. Yeah, right. At least. So that was the last time I played, and I've been missing it ever since. I've been saying our town needs some outdoor three-wall courts. We don't have any, unless anybody knows about them. We, there, we don't. I tweeted at our, our town's parks department, and they were like, no. Well, that sucks. And I said, hey, you got to get that. And it got a few likes from other people who were like, yeah. Yeah, it does. It yeah. does need them. Yeah, pickleball is all the rage right now, but I'm I'm trying to bring back racquetball. Let's get, let's get the 80s back with at least the popularity of racquetball. That part of the 80s. Yeah, just specifically that one. Not all the junk bonds. 
and the deregulation and all the Reaganism Power shit, suits, though. Mostly just the racquetball. Get some power suits. Oh, yeah, and the shoulder pads. And shoulder the big, pads? Yeah, big lapels. <laughs> that's the thing with today. That's the problem with today. Like, the lapels. They're so tiny. They're so small. <laughs> they're so small. <laughs> Practically non-existent. You can't, you can't eat off that lapel. That's right. <laughs> they're just so tiny. How can anyone take you seriously as a businessman <laughs> or businesswoman with these freaking tiny lapels? You know what we need to do? We need to bring back the 90s suit fashion. Way too many buttons where, on these jackets. Where the lapels were big. There's a lot of buttons. Everything was big, very... Big <laughs> scoop. Everything was super earth tony. So it was like a brown with oh, like yeah. a brown tie. And everything was just yeah. so fucking brown. And jackets these days have one breast. I'm sorry. Yeah. We need... To bring back the double, nay, triple breasted jacket. We need so many rows of buttons. You need your pants to have breasts. Your socks should and have breasts. Because when you unbutton it, you don't want to just flap around. No, and you, you don't want it to, to look normal. You want it to flap, flap. And if you're actually, you know, a dresser, if you can dress yourself, you don't button the bottom button. So having two, you really need three. That's right. It's That's like right. a vest. You want to button those all but the bottom one. And we need our suits to be real big and puffy up top. Yeah. Tight ankle. We need <laughs> we need the David Byrne suit. We need to be like big and around. Big and around. <laughs> I'm gonna go I'm I'm gonna go big and around. I just I feel like big and around today. You guys wanna be around with me? This is a please big around with us style chat. You guys wanna come big around today? <laughs> I'm just got bored. Let's big around. <laughs> I feel like I feel You know like what are you doing this weekend? Enough. I don't know. Just, probably nothing. Just bigging around the house. Got to go shopping. Just, maybe big around the house. Just gonna, just gonna <laughs> big around like a big turd. <laughs> just bigging around all day. Whoo! <laughs> <laughs> We're all over the place today. Who oh boy? It's that racquetball energy. It's that big racquetball. We're still energy. we're still on it from Sunday. I do want to count as two envoys. Oh, my, I can't. It's hard with that. I got it. But it is way better than the keyboard. Yeah, I agree. I do want great scientist points. No, I can't make it. Okay, let's try again. No, it's profit. Oh, I got it there. He's there. He's there. He's there. Confirm. Triple breast. You're going to get banned, dude. Yeah. You can't say triple breast in the what chat. Is, what is this? Uh, what is this, Pornhub? No, the, the movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger going to Mars. Total Recall? What is junior. this, Total Recall? It's Junior. It's <laughs> Junior. Junior. <laughs> Oh, Total Recall is the one with the... Baby's Day Out. The three boobed woman. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I did it. Nice. It's time for Stonehenge, people. Can you imagine trying to talk 600 people into helping you drag a 50-ton stone 18 miles across the countryside? The one about twins. Yeah, Total Recall. Total Twin Call. So I went to uh, a grocery store today. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 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 So it's I walk face in. Off. It's face off. It's, <laughs> I walk in and it's the kind that has like a sort of little cart lobby and they have uh, some food set up like a display of, of chips and stuff, which I always find weird because it's it's past the checkout. Like it's on your way into the store. You know what I mean? What store is this? Payless. Oh, okay. Like in this little like vestibule area. Anyway, as I walk in. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's like this Very weird. stand of like Doritos and Cheez-Its mm -hmm. and Ritz crackers. And there's this guy standing there, and he's he's sifting through the Ritz crackers. For what is he trying to find? Like, it's this, it's this giant bin of identical boxes of Ritz crackers. And he's carefully looking at box after box and putting them back. For what? Like, what special? I don't know. But then he, as I walked in, you know, the doors, and he glanced up and looked at me. We made eye contact. And then he, like, started doing it faster, like, kind of frantically. Like, I was going to stop him or somehow get the box of crackers he wanted before he could possibly get it. And is, there like a, is there, like, a ticket that you can get to go to know. the Ritz Cracker Factory? And, like, he started looking at them more closely and, like, really aggressively, like, the fuck? sorting them. And, obviously, I just walked past him, like, yeah. okay, weirdo. But it was like I had done something wrong. You should. And I was just like, I'm sorry. You should have just grabbed any box and said, <laughs> I got it. I got and then it. just walked away. Like, I was like, <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, winner. Just put it in your basket. <laughs> what? He looked normal. He had a cart. It was empty like he was about to go in the store. I there's just, I, I there's no rich promotions that I'm currently aware of. Or, like, secret rich information. Does anybody have any secret Ritz information? <laughs> secret Ritzes? 
All right, Simon Peter, found that religion. Like one of these are going to be blueberry flavored Ritz's. Boom. <laughs> yeah, you didn't go to Aldi. Well. Getting that special uh, Mew Ritz cracker. Yeah, I go to Aldi when I do normal grocery shopping, but I was just stopping off, stopping off for some quick stuff on my way to pick up my kid from daycare. It certainly wasn't Ritz crackers. It definitely was not. The name of your religion should be Secret Ritz. <laughs> How do I do this? Yeah, you can't. Here. All right, you do it. Okay. You do it. Okay. Secret Ritz. I like it. Uh, this is pretty close to a Ritz cracker. Wah. What the heck? I, what happened? What in the heck? Click the X button up there. What? Secrets. Ooh, that's good. Secrets. Spell it like yeah, that. Yeah, I will. Spell it like secrets. I can't click the thing. You have to click it. I'll click. <laughs> we're, we're working as a team. I can't. I can't. What the fuck happened? I can't. Why? Why can't we edit it? I can't. Is it have to be a there? There we go. A custom. I can't. See. Secrets. Secrets. Sorry. Sorry. What the fuck? It, that was my bad. That, Again? I, I did it that time, so I probably did it the first time, yeah. too. Well, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I won't click anything <laughs> this time. So, like, um... Secrets. I like how all these brand of crackers like that are called Savorits. Yeah, Savorits. Clancy's. <laughs> uh, go ham on some Clancy's. <laughs> I, I want to do the wheel, but it's Buddhism. I know yeah, I have to pick another I'm just one. I'm afraid to click it. Where's where's the other one? I, where's a circle? Maybe it's the the waves cuz they're like wavy crackers. Yeah, okay, good enough. Oh, I got Requires a... name. Why couldn't you remember it? Secrets. Must construct additional pylons. All right, uh let's do this. Yeah, shrines and temples, cool. Uh let's build a stupa. Let's build a snowman. Let's let's just just just, just get stupa. Ooh, a meeting house, though. That's good. Faith and production. He would take the wheel. <clears throat> found. I found it. Oh, yeah. Squid gun. Oh, yeah. Nice. Unit needs orders. Boom. Explorer. Done. Next turn. Here we go. Oh, <clears throat> there, you have not had a lot of Barbarians. Yeah, I freaking killed them all. Freaking. There have been some, and I don't know who this guy is. Get out of here. <clears throat> Get the heck out of here. Yeah, they're like, I'm just not that worried about it. You know, like, I'll, I'll, I'll discover new technology in my own time. Just, okay. Do you want to build a stupa? Me and my brother. <laughs> I don't my think dad. they know. I don't think they know that story. <laughs> my dad. <laughs> my dad killed his he brother. He killed his brother, and then he made me bury him. <clears throat> what? We are the Mario <clears throat> twins. We if you have any neighbor problems, I feel bad for your <laughs> son. I've got ninety-nine <laughs> problems, but then you go to his house and you kill him. Oh God, Jan! Man, I don't think those, that's how we play. That kid was so funny. That was the that was the jam, man. That four that was a four person improv group right there. I agree. That was uh your class at um that you're teaching. That's right. Those kids improv. So funny. Was that the one where we What is this thing? I what is this? It's oh, planes. That's mine. I'm building that. That's mine. <laughs> forgot I forgot. That's my hanging gardens. Get away from my gardens. Those barbarians are they just want to enjoy. The barbarians. The barbarians. Ba 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 barbarians. Oh boy, no. they got bows. Bows. Cr crunching you in half. Bows. All right, come on, man. Just get over there and kill him. Not gonna, gonna kill all of them. He's gonna die. Yeah, super gonna all die. All right, let's go to this place. Why? What is that? Why is that red? Just because it's the name of the city. You see? All right, yeah, Carth Hage. Oh, that's my own place. Cart Hag. 
Build some roads. Weren't you guys Abso Boys with Tyrant? We were not Abso Boys yeah, with Tyrant. Um, so Tim and I and some other people uh, who we might be asleep, who might be in the chat, um, started an improv group at Purdue. And we did a comedy festival where we invited a bunch of improv groups from around the state. And one of those was Abso Improv from Ball State that's right. University. That's and right. so that's where we first met Ethan. Tyrant. Not Ethan. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> that's I not can't. his name. It's so hard. Mr. Heel. Yeah, Mr. Heel. Who's not here, by the way? Who's not even here? Get away from that trade route. That's mine. All right, I need a... I know Mr. Ooh, Heel yeah. had a little bit of a reunion. Here we go. <laughs> Made him be not even oh, online for I my own privacy. I forgot they get built over here. Ooh. Yeah. He, uh, I don't know where he is. I just talked to him a couple of days ago. He, um, he had a student that he was, uh, I don't know what you want, advising needing to talk to someone who's a programmer so he said he asked if uh i would talk to him for the assignment and i did and it was fine and cool it was very legal and very cool friends we're right here we're right here yeah he could be talking to us on the discord yeah the hell if bread is the first necessity of life if bread is the first necessity of life Boom, 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 oh, boom, 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 boom. Oh, you got Bowman now. That's right. That's right, I do. And I helped. Ooh, I think I got to build a holy site. A whole Let's hole. Put it right there. Yes, I do want to put it there. Yes, Marm. You said you played Alan Wake, right? So good. So I've been playing through Controls DLC. Alan, Alan Wake. Ellen Wake. Uh, yes, both of us guys are off to a really great start. <laughs> <laughs> both of us. Yep. Both. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing. I, I can't get rid of it. For a while, you made me so self-conscious that every time I'd say <laughs> it, I'd remember it. But I put an L in there because that's I what also, people from... I also say it, too. Okay. There's an L in both. 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 That's what I say. Unless Tim is around, then I have to, like... <laughs> change my speech patterns so I don't just get everyone just like fucking get his ass <laughs> get his he said it both <laughs> you done messed up made a typo in the group chat <laughs> get his ass um I was just talking to um Caitlin Brienne about this <laughs> Caitlin Brian about this at lunch the other day I forget what word that she said though and I was like was it roof <laughs> no, but it was like the, it was something, Malk. some word, <laughs> pillow. When we were talking about regional dialects, on regional dialects. Yeah. Oh, I heard someone. So, get shit on. Get shit, get shit on. on. <laughs> get him. Uh, there was a fighting game tournament this past weekend. Uh, the ascent to the Red Bull Kumite. There's a commentator, and he was commentating with some people, and he did like a post thing analysis on it. I swear this is related. Um, and he's like, "Yeah, this, this guy. He's, I, I always thought Brian not had, telling. I, I thought he thought Brian had two syllables, but he'd be like, oh, what's up, Brian? Brian. <laughs> oh yeah, that that I don't. That's one of my least favorite accents. That like steel equals still and will. Yeah, that quasi will. country southern sort of redneck still mill. <laughs> Which redneck is a mean word, but still mill. Like yeah, the still mill, or just like I seen it. I seen him. Oh, the I seen it thing. You I know, can't. I can't do it. That that drives me up a wall. I, I seen him over there, and it's like there's nothing else about. I seen nothing yeah. else about the accent. It's like not like I seen him down. It's like I, it. I I seen I seen him. I've seen. I have seen. It's like I just I just can't. I can't. <laughs> Matt literally pronounced syrup as serp. Sir <laughs> Sorry, serp. <laughs> so. Where I originally come from really? is considered the region. The so region. So there's a region dialect, regional dialect, yeah. which I don't know. I've been down here for so long. I don't know what I still have or don't have anymore. But I get some Chicago from my family, just a little bit, though, because both sides of my family, both, 
sides of them are from <laughs> Chicago. Um, so every once in a while, I'll say a word and students will look at me funny. Like, I really notice in words like obnoxious, I'll say like obnoxious instead of obnoxious. I'll be like, that's obnoxious. And then the kids are like, obnoxious. what are you? What are you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. When you have to tell really? people like, where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Almost everybody, nobody who no says that, they're like, oh, yeah, from the one of the places in You North know Virginia. Chicago? Yeah. I live, you know, yeah. you know, next to it. Like, you're an yeah. hour away from it. Yeah, hour away. That's about, it's almost exactly how far I am away from it. One hour. Yeah, get wrecked. Really? Yeah, that was one of them. But I will say, really, we picked up a lot of that dialect, I'll say, because we, all of our... All the channels, like all the news channels, all the cable channels. Oh, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. all Chicago. For we sure. have the time zone that is, you know, central time. It's that little part. Um, so the Indiana accent thing, also like pillow. Pillow, yeah, I, I don't pillow. say pillow. People are like, get your pillow. Pillow. Pen is pin. I'm going to write with my pin. I was never Pencil. Aw- I was never aware of I even had anything I've never until had I any. went to college. And people were like, why do you say stuff weird? The words, oh yeah, it was orange. Who, who that? I don't know. Oh, is that? Welcome, MJack95. I feel like I know who that is. Winder. Winder. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, up for where my my grandparents used to, li- or they, one of them still lives. Uh, Warsh. That was a big one. That's what I was gonna say. My great aunt Barb is uh, definitely a washer. W- washing stuff. She goes to. She puts her clothes in the washing machine. Yeah. That, that drove me up. I'm like, why are you putting stuff in there? Why is there an extra R? <laughs> why are you putting stuff in there? <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, what's up, Michael? What's up, MJack95? MJack95. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's true, though. Worse the turlet. Worse the turlet. I, I say turlet. Freaking I r- love turlet. I say turlet ironically so much that it's become just the yep. default. <laughs> the turlet. I'm going to go to the turlet. <laughs> Did you know that show? Did you ever watch that show, Treehouse Masters? No. Well, there was one episode where he made, like, a, a turret toilet. <laughs> Garbage. And he was just... <laughs> He was always like, it's a turlet. And I was like, people say that just to mean toilet. I really love garbage, though. Garbage. Chillin' chillin' chillin chilly willy. Chin chilly willy. Is the, the weirdest and the worst. <laughs> Trios. Oh, shit, chilly. Hey, somebody knows somebody. Chillin'. Chillium. Chillin' chill, chilly. <laughs> Welcome. Chillium, please. I, why are you are you having a stroke right now? <laughs> What's Chill it. Ch- chilly. Chim- chilly. Chimmery, chim chimmery, <laughs> chim chim chiru. That's definitely the lyrics. Oh, two turns? Heck yeah. But yeah, to finish that story, I just people were just like, you say stuff weird. Wake up. Why is like, my archer You say asleep? like on weird. I'm like, how do I say on weird? On. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or like when people from Wisconsin say big ba- instead of bag. Oh my God. My, I, my, my book big. I love going to, one, I love Minneapolis, but two, like going up there and hearing that like Minneapolis accent, they're like... Oh, you're gonna take a magazine in the magazine flag. The flag. Whenever, like, I had the race, Civ be six. Like, please turn to. We're gonna say the national anthem. Please turn to the flag. I'm like the flag. The flag. <laughs> um, soda pop. pop. Coke. It's pop. Hundred percent pop. Okay. Hundred percent. Yes, of the time. I grew up. It's my great great aunt Barb. She'd be like, "You pop. want a pop? Do you guys want any pop. pop? Pop. So yes, pop. But I have been saying soda a lot just because I can't. I get people are like, "Oh, is it pop? I don't understand the Coke." Coke for everything because Coke is yeah. a, a like a specific it's a brand. It's like saying, well, it's like saying Kleenex or Band Aid. Yeah, but it's but Coke is a cola. Yeah, and not every soda We're playing Civ Six. is a co- is a cola. Yeah, it's pop for me though. I can't. It's, it's pop. Yeah, it's pop. You want a pop? <laughs> pop up gets a treat. Pop up gets a treat. <laughs> soda. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I'll say soda. Red Thirteen. You're from an area where. Pop is. Are you saying that you disagree or you agree? Listen, I say soda in mixed company. I I can't. I know that um, Grunart Malk says soda, which dr- is weird to me because he's from also the place that I'm from, or at least near enough. Yeah, can I get a pop? I disagree with the. Lo- yeah, I was gonna say you're from the area that says pop. You got to be specific. Like, what kind of pop do you want? Yeah, of course. And the answer is squirt. <laughs> I'm just gonna squirt past you, past you and get a pop. Just gonna squirt past you, grab pop. Hey, what are you? Oh, you're denouncing me now, huh? You're denouncing me? Tell oh, you what, Bruno tell you what, guys. He's here. He's not asleep. If it's natural to if you. If it's natural to you. Tennis shoes or sneakers. Yeah, for me, it Sneaks. Was, it's sneakers. Um, She's not here. She's never watched her stream before about her friend Katie. We used to say gym shoes. Oh, yeah, gym shoes. Gym shoes. Yeah, gym shoes. But my mom always says sneakers. Or, no, she always says tennis shoes. Sneaks? 
Oh, I'm going to lose this tennis. fight. You do not say tennis. <laughs> sneakers. <laughs> no, gym shoes. If you say sneakers... Most what? of the time, I just say shoes. I say sneakers. Yeah, gym shoes. <laughs> gym shoes. Absolutely Because you gym had shoes. to have a separate yep. pair of shoes for gym, and yep. you got gym shoes for gym. Gym shoes. Get your gym shoes. Yeah, that's not weird. I say all three. Yeah, I, I don't actually think that one's not like uh, it's interchangeable. Most of the time, I just say shoes. Tennis shoes, gym shoes, sneakers. It's or all, or it's I all specifically say I need to get my running shoes or like. Well, it's sure, but then those. But like that kind of shoe is a sneaker. It's a gym shoe. It's a tennis shoe. Slides threw me off. Uh, one of the things, and I think you've confirmed this to me too. Oh, like, I put my mom. On. I call them flip flops. Most of the stuff or sandals, thongs, depend, but thongs. thongs. So like my mom would always be like, oh, "I gotta get my thongs." I'm like, "No, okay, you don't." Okay, mom. No, you don't. You don't need to get those. You just leave those where they are. But yeah, so slides are a different kind. Tennis shoes. Because slides don't flip flop when you walk. Yes. Flip flops make the slip slop. No, yeah. The slap. The slip slap. The slip. <laughs> the slap. The slip slap. The slappy slap. I want to get that written on a, a sign. Flip flops make, make the, the slip slop. <laughs> Uh, um, tennis. So you said tennis shoes. I had a friend in high school who legitimately thought flip flops make the slip slop. <laughs> legitimately thought it was tenny shoes. Tenny, sh tenny, tenny shoes. T a n n y. I've heard shoes. I've heard tenny shoes. Tenny shoes before. <laughs> I've heard that. Like thongs and racism. <laughs> thongs is so funny. I really. Have you seen my thongs? I. I haven't. No, God, please, no. <laughs> Just stop. Just please stop. These horses aren't even trying to attack me. Everyone is always talking about how they're not. Are you guys Achilles? affiliates? No, but we're one closer. We're I think we're so close. We're probably like four away now. So we're please make four dummy accounts. Yeah, please make follow four us. dummy accounts and follow us. Please Actually, clap. I do have another like just exclusive Twitch account for this one thing. I might just follow us with that. Yeah. Why there. haven't you done that? Yeah. Yet? Well, because I didn't think about it till right now. I mean, it, getting us, uh, Jimmy's. Uh, so I don't understand you. Oh, we had a big argument yeah, about we, this one time. So here's the thing. I it's not natural for me to say Jimmy's. I really like the word Jimmy's, so I started calling them Jimmy's. Yeah, Jimmy's. Here's the thing. <laughs> I had heard about Jimmy's. <laughs> I knew it was a sprinkle. Yeah. I thought it was a specific kind of sprinkle. Like I thought chocolate it was, or, or... I thought it was specifically the chocolate skinny long ones. Uh-huh. Or you could have rainbow jimmies, chocolate jimmies, but I thought they were always the long ones. But no, it's just any sprinkle is a, gi is a jimmy. Uh, <laughs> Caitlin's <laughs> from the planet New Jersey. Sorry oh to out you on, on the street. When I was in New York a couple weekends ago, there, the person who's checking us in was so from Queens. It was <laughs> the best. Like her accent. It's nice to finally meet you. It's like it's so good. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> I call him, I like calling them all Jimmy's, but. Jimmy's is fun. Nobody around no here one knows. No one I grew up with. Nobody, nobody. Jimmy's is a Jimmy call them Jimmy's. <laughs> From Marge through Jimmy's at Becky. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But yeah, it was all sprinkles. Sprinkles. But then I learned Jimmy's. I'm like, well, why don't we call him that? Yeah, that's amazing. It's <laughs> way better. <laughs> oh, uh, the, Wisconsin has a bunch of weird ones. Um, Caddy Corner. I'm, um, I'm Caddy Corner. JJ oh, oh. Sandwich to go is the veggie. Do you still have how the Halo? Veggie Chili sub, extra hot peppers, extra sprouts. Who is Chinchilli Willy? I don't remember the Halo spawns. No, but I have. So one of the things I think we're going to play here soon, the new Halo came out. I'm having so much fun with it. It's really good. Diagonal from a location. Um, so I hope we do play it on here. It's super fun. What? What? I lived in Tark with you. Ooh. Oh, my God. You're, um, Ooh. you're Red 13's friend. Yeah, obviously. He's well, I, yeah, but I didn't know who. No, so my roommate was the one who like was semi pro Halo player. He smoked me. Absolutely got rinsed every time I played that game with him. Oh, I had one of those roommates. His name on uh Halo was Grenadler. Uh it was because he did was capital lowercase, capital lowercase, and it looked like Grenadler. And he was so mad because he took himself very seriously. And we played with some of my friends from high school and somebody said over the voice chat, Who's Grenadler? <laughs> and he was like, Um, it's Grenadier. <laughs> and he was good at it, but it was just, he was so mad. Who's Grenadler? I, I th uh, Red 13 knows this one, but like, 
I regret what we don't did. say rinsed. Yeah, you shouldn't say rinsed. What I love saying rinsed or washed. Um, <laughs> but we were the that. we were the weird people on the floor who always shut our door. Like we didn't we didn't socialize a lot, which sucked. Uh, I our regret doors doing that. shut themselves because we were in the new renovated part of of Kerry Quads. They just, uh, I, I totally regret that. There was a lot. We didn't meet the people on our floor until like. Uh, like towards the end of this the the, the year and it uh-huh. sucked. Where's they were it? all pretty cool people. Except for the person next to our room who was just like constantly having loud and then crying sex with their girlfriend. It's the best kind. <laughs> yeah, totally. That's the college try. I need a campus. Okay, well just go to sleep, man. There's nothing wrong with rinsed. It is the perfect No, it's fine, yeah. Perfect thing to describe. Yeah, uh, that person, if I remember correctly, I don't remember their name, but they, uh, their, their, somebody was a professor. Uh, That's true. But like their dad or somebody. Somebody in the world. And so they were doing engineering because I was doing engineering too. Did engineering. Um, completed engineering. <laughs> so one thing I miss about Civ Five, and I would always try to do this, I would try to get a few cities in, try to get as much land mass Vinegar. as possible. Vinegar. And then I would make the Great Wall wonder, and my wall would be so big. So big. Caramel. Car- I say caramel. Uh, it's caramel, you absolute caveman. <laughs> I say caramel. <laughs> caramel, you sound like an illiterate, like, doofus. <laughs> I'm ill. I'm illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> caramel is a town <laughs> north Car- of Indianapolis. Caramel is a city. In- yeah, I say caramel. It's caramel. <laughs> you absolute caveman. You fucking rube. <laughs> there, it's spelled caramel. I can't help you out. Caribbean. It's Kerbin. <laughs> Kerbin. <laughs> Just throwing curveballs at people. Carabin. It's Ca- the thing you climb with. It's Carrie Bean. No, 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 no. No, no. <laughs> You're mistaken. You're thinking of the the big moose-like creature. <laughs> Cribbin. <laughs> this is a card game that you play with, with pegs. I'm sorry, that's cribbage. Uh, I've never played cribbage. I used to know how to play. I used to play. I know it we had a whole frequently. S- we had a whole scene about cribbage. No, that was canasta. Oh, canasta. We had a whole scene about canasta. I still. Which was I, really I actually good. recently played canasta with my mom. <laughs> canasta's great. Cribbage. I used to play. It's complicated, and um, I forgot how. I used to play with my grandpa. You're thinking of Quiplash. I love Quiplash. Quiplash is. How many of you would be interested? I don't know how. No, fees- no, just no. Why did you do that? I wanted you to fight the guys. I felt like you were saying no to this no, idea. I'm sorry. Yes, I love the idea of of uh, you all playing uh, like uh, Jackbox games with us. Yes, on stream. Why aren't we doing it right now? Well, because we're playing this. I wish we weren't playing this. They'd be dead. So I, I think that'd be fun. I, th- I I would have to figure out how to lower the latency. I think so. I don't think it'd be a problem. You don't think so? Okay. No. Cool. We'll probably do that uh, either next time or like pretty soon after this. Because I like that idea. Well, it might be a problem. How much lag is there? Uh, there's probably like between 10 and 20 seconds. That's kind of a lot. It's kind of a lot. That's kind of a lot. But eh. we have to do it over like a hangout or something. But like they would, um, <clears throat> they would be able to answer still. Well, yeah, I know. I wonder if we could like do a Zoom. And so just, I like, can. I'll, let me try the Discord thing because I think I can share. Yeah, Discord would be good. Share the screen faster on Discord. Yep. You're kind of a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Secret Hitler. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> so funny. Uh, you're like, if you're lying to me, if you're lying to me, and you're oh my god. Hitler. You have no idea. I will not be friends so. with you. I, we're, our friendship is over. And I was like, I'm not lying. I'm you're, not. A, I'm not. And then you're, I was like, uh, hey, I'm, I'm Hitler. I'm a fascist. You. So I even had the gun. I mean, I knew the, the game kind of put <laughs> us in that situation. So like, I had the gun. And you're like, I'm, I'm not lying. Trust me. And I was like, okay, I'm trusting you. And you're like, I fuck it. I, he like, fascist <laughs> policy. I'm like, well, you're fucking dead. You're fucking dead. And I never want to see your damn face again. <laughs> Killed him then and there. Yeah, but I still won. Thanksgiving, that would be cool, except I won't be here for Thanksgiving. Although it could be like Thanksgiving holiday special. 
yeah, we're not going to be streaming next week. No, I will be gone for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Uh, at my family's doing thanks. <laughs> we're going to be doing thanks so hard. <laughs> Girls want to get together and do thanks. Yeah. Fine over Twitch. Yeah, I think you're right. I, it'll probably be fine just, just over Twitch. And if it doesn't, we can switch to Discord. Discord right here. Discord, that cord. Oh, you're slapping things. <laughs> How hard would you have to slap things to cook it? <laughs> Man, Thanksgiving is one week away. Damn, this is flying by. Flying what, by. What, life? Just over here deteriorating. Life, the year. My attention. Let's make a theater square. Yeah, all right. A bump, bump, bump. On the water. Nobody nobody slaps five anymore. They give five. Just slip and slaps. <laughs> yeah, nobody gives skin. Yeah. Like, give, yeah, give me give some, me skin. some skin, brother. Give me some hungry chicken. <laughs> no, you're not hungry enough. <laughs> <laughs> I choose not to perceive time. Well, time perceives you. Please, sir. Some more skin. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little more skin for a hungry boy. <laughs> Such a hungry boy. A boy, what needs, were we, a what, boy needs to eat all of what his What was the joke a few weeks ago? Like a weird little boy or something? Yes, it's in the description of the video that we we the, posted it. <laughs> weird little I, boy. I put a little blurb. I always try to pick out like yeah. one phrase What's from, the this, joke? from this thing and, and put it in the description. Howard on Main. Weird little boys. Just a little skin for a hungry boy. <laughs> Please. Please, sir. I'm all out of skin. I, I'm all I out. I barely have enough for me. I wasted it all. <laughs> Haywood Banks has a weird song about uh, that. It's called My Skin Keeps Growing. It does. And uh, part of the song is him asking Methuselah what he does with a thousand years of skin. <laughs> <laughs> Haywood Banks is a weird dude, uh, but the music's pretty funny. I don't know if anybody knows who Haywood Banks is. He does that toast song where he's like, yeah, toast. And he plays with forks on a toaster. Yeah, toast. I don't know. Or 18 wheels on a big rig. It doesn't have enough. Tyron made a bear. I know what a bear is. <laughs> Must be an inside <laughs> joke. It is. It is. It's a. I mean, it's inside joke with a yeah. lot of people, but. Yeah. yeah. I like to make a lot of inside jokes to the audience. <laughs> You're not going to get this, but yeah. trust me. Yeah. Yeah, my roommate, he gets yeah, it. He, my yeah. roommate, my yeah. roommate yeah. fucking Gary. loves this This one's one. for Gary. <laughs> this one's just for Gary. You know what I'm talking about, Gary. Gary's like, yes, sir, I do. <laughs> I'm going to tell a joke, and I'm going to need you all to close your ears. <laughs> can you we're going to do, do earmuffs. Listen, I need everyone to leave <laughs> just for 30 seconds. Then you can come back after that. I will be referencing this a lot. So in improv shows, oftentimes we'll pick an audience volunteer and take them to a soundproof location to dis discuss the game, whatever. Instead of that, we should make everyone else leave <laughs> <laughs> so we can <laughs> explain the game to you the one to person. Go. Like everyone, you have to go. We're just picking this. Everyone else has to Gary leave. Gary the Barry. I, ho I hope this person's name was Gary. A bear gear stare. Stupa. Building a stupa. You're stooping it. Yeah, stupefy. Yeah, papa. Have you seen uh, Ferdinand, that movie with the bull? No. Well, there are some German horses, and they are super funny. Like, oh, you just over there with your stinky bulls. Not on this <laughs> lovely side of the fence. You're the stinky bull side of the fence. I'm going to assume that you probably like the movie, but I'm assuming your children are fond of this film. I mean, they're the reason I've seen it. Yeah. But it's a good movie. You know what's good movie that gets slept on a lot? Surf's Dune. Up. Yeah, that one too. Surf's Up. I mean, Dune didn't get slept on. <laughs> that was like a major thing for a long time. That was great though. Dune was really good. Dune was really good. But Surf's Up, great movie. Surf Ninjas, one and two. And three. Surf Ninjas? <laughs> Troll two. I don't know what that emoji is. I they're can't eating her. Me. Then they're going to eat me. Oh my God. Yeah, I can't see what that emoji is. Is it a penguin? I still can't fucking see it. Is it a penguin? Please type out your emojis. No, 
I've never seen this one before. A new emoji. Oh, it's like a guy with a big forehead. And he's got like a little shine on it. Is it a big brain? It is not a penguin. Well, that's what the movie Surf's Up is about. Surf's Up is about a penguin. What is this man? What is a man? Nothing but a miserable pile of secrets. It is my name. <laughs> it is a man with a large forehead. Called it. <laughs> it's Classic. That's the emoji. Classic. Man with big forehead. <laughs> man holding on to his youth. So many great people I am recruiting. Happy Feet is indeed a movie as well. Everyone, let's post movies in the chat. Just put them in there. Movies in the chat? <laughs> what can he do? Form a core out of a military land unit. All right, let's fucking do it. I don't have a military land <laughs> unit. <laughs> Your mom when I man with large forehead. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, your mom when I man with large forehead. <laughs> you heard me. That's it. Wally's a movie. We're doing great here. Wally is a movie. <laughs> this is so good. Wally is a movie. <laughs> Let's make a heavy chariot. It's so. Look at how big it is compared to the city. That's huge. Remember that song by Gavin DeGraw? No. Chariot? Nope. Yeah, you do. Probably. Contact is Contact is good. Contact is a good movie. It's a good movie. It's a good guy. That's the one where she's in the ball and it falls yep. through the... But she sees her dead dad, who might be an man, alien. Dead dads, man. Dead dads, man, I tell you. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. One Tree Hill, One Tree Hank Hill. That's the one I want. God dang it, Bobby. <laughs> Squanch, James? Squanch. Um... I haven't seen I it. I need to. I need to get some workers. That's what I'm. It, I'm. I'm gonna just go on a, a a big limb and think that that is Squid Game. Ooh, Terracotta Army. I think that's Squid Game. Squid Game was pretty good. Or also known as Squanch James. Squanch James. <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh um, catchphrase. Catchphrase. <laughs> but yeah, Squid Game was pretty good. Pretty good. I need a builder. I need a builder here as well. I don't know. I might see the Spider-Man in theaters. I mean, that trailer looked pretty dope. Yep. I like an Alfred Molina. I do like an Alfred Molina. Yeah. I liked him in, um, uh, what's the, dang it. The Spy, or The Man Who Knew Too Little. He is in that. <laughs> but I liked him in uh, Maverick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good in that. Good today. As long as I'm not watching a movie with friends, that would be weird. It's really weird. That is an inside joke. <laughs> that really is. And now you're all a part of it. You're all witness to it. Shang Chi. No, no, I do want to see it. I do want to see that. But you know what was good? Um, Black Widow. That was good. Haven't seen that either. It's on the Disney Plus. I'm sure it is. I just don't watch a lot of. So mo is movies. Shang Chi, but it's like. You gotta pay thirty bucks or whatever. That's a lot of dollars. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Yep, that's the many dollars. Screw you, Disney. I'm already paying for your gosh dang streaming service. Yep. I uh, yeah, dang. Yeah, I am. I'm spoiled by subtitles. You can. Uh, so what I learned, at least with theaters around here, is you can. I learned this from somebody in the improv you can group. Get it. You can ask them, and yep. they give you like a thing. Yep. That you put in front of you that like adds subtitles. Yep. It's for the vision impaired. Yes. Or the hearing impaired. Hearing impaired. I think giving them that for the vision impaired would just yeah, be taunting would be, them. Would be, <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> hey, you want to know what? Take this. You want to know what? So, yeah, that's uh, the, the the last movie I saw in theaters, which is probably the one I'm going to see for a while, is Dune. And Dune ruled, and I'm glad I saw I it. I didn't see it in theater. theaters. Saw it in IMAX. It was awesome. Um, but it was really good. I watched it twice, like, Back to yep. back, almost. Really excited for part two. Last Bring it movie on. I saw in theaters was uh, Black Widow because I was on a work trip all by my lonesome. Went to the movies. <laughs> Are you a uh, don't buy anything at the theater or buy some snacks at the theater? I buy some snacks outside the theater and sneak them and in. Sneak them in like a criminal. That's what all growing up. That's what we did. Movie theaters don't have string cheese. 
No, they super don't. And they don't have little veggie trays. So what am I supposed to do? Want to watch it, but isn't it 2.5 hours? I don't know how long it was. It didn't. Yeah, it was two and a half hours. It didn't feel two and a half hours. It's good though. Yeah, real good. Um, when all growing up, we'd sneak City shit into range. theaters. We'd we'd oh. have the trench coat full of like pop cans and like popped popcorn that oh, we yeah. had from the microwave and like every candy that you could possibly imagine. Um, I want to attack that boy. But since I have my own money now, I'm like I'm not fucking around with this. I'm just gonna buy some popcorn. And pop. That's all I want. I don't want any candy. I want some popped corn. Want popcorn? Don't give me the fake butter shit. I don't like it. Don't give me any salt. I don't want that. Just give me a bucket of popcorn and some pop, and I'll just hold it for the whole movie. Hold what? The pee. <laughs> the pee? <laughs> well, yeah, because you're drinking all the pop. Like, you're going to... You know what? Listen, I'm an adult. I'm just going to go pee during the movie. I don't want to miss it. Yeah, but sometimes movies have boring parts. Yeah, sometimes, but I don't know what those are because I haven't seen it before. I mean, if if I've there's a there's a point, there's a tipping point. See, that's smart. Large popcorn, brown lunch bag, split it up. That's that's smart. Then I thought you, can you go were gonna say, get a large popcorn has room for pee. <laughs> Eat the popcorn, then you pee in the cup. Have you seen those um, those popcorn containers where they have like it's plastic? It'll have popcorn on the top, and then the bottom will be the pop, and then you can like drink out of the container oh, gross <laughs> it's not they don't touch is it warm that's not is warm it warm your soda the popcorn's <laughs> hot i guess there could be some thermal does it transfer. warm it could be some thermal <laughs> transfer does it warm your pop? but it's not it's not good thermal transfer it's plastic AMC, like american motor company yeah the american motor company the people who made the delorean they no, make the delorean that's dmc they made the, the jeeps and the amc eagle and the um, the whatever the fuck the the Wayne's World car, the Gremlin, I think so, right? Uh, yeah, that was AMC. Yep. That's an AMC. Yep. You're right. You're right. You're right. Man, they had some really great cars. That's why they're still around. <laughs> <laughs> they're not. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. But that's like everything got consolidated. It's just yeah. so stupid. Um, I blame capitalism. Well, that's because that's what exactly what Clark it is. Clark had a sticker. It was my son. His name's Clark. <laughs> my he son. Had, uh, my, my boy. My boy. What was that from, too? Like, Oh, it was one of those improv shows. My, my boy. boy. My boy. <laughs> uh, he had a sticker we got from the Nib because they had a Nib subscription for a while. And I still do. it was a Marx. And he was like, I blame capitalism. Yeah, and he I wore it to school. It. And he was just like chanting it all the time. <laughs> I have that sticker, too. It's, yeah. a, it's a good sticker. I stopped uh, paying for the nib because I it was too much money. I I think I paid two bucks a month. I was paying eight bucks a month. That's more. And I they, by the numbers, the magazines weren't coming as frequently as they used to. I, so. They don't really do. I don't know if they do a print magazine anymore. I just pay for the um the online yeah stuff. I think it's like a variable donation. You can it donate is. what you want. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, uh, popcorn. She's pop. the worst. That's all I want. That's all the movie I need. But the popcorn never lasted. The movie just shove it in your face before you do all shove the it. But it's over. unlimited refills. But uh, you'd have to get up. Yeah, get up and go out there. You got to get up. They know. And in there, if you're gonna go get up, like and get popcorn, you can't also go pee because where are you gonna put the popcorn? And also, you're wasting time. So Ooh, usually, I don't those. refill the popcorns, which is what they're so. counting on. No butter. Ugh. Literally, no butter. Whatever they pop it in, that's what I want. I don't want any extra bullshit, just the popcorn. Extra bullshit. <laughs> when I eat popcorn at home, you can think what you just will of me, but you should you should understand popcorn. exactly how I eat. Why can't I fix I oh, use I have an have air popper it. with popcorn kernels and add nothing to it. Just add stri- butter to it. I don't what are want you doing? I don't want to. Put butter on I it. I just like the popcorn as it is. Melt some butter. I don't want to. Why? I literally, I don't like it. You put salt on it? No. What is your problem? No, plain popcorn has to be the wor- one of the worst <laughs> foods on I the like planet. it. I like it. And I don't add salt You're to- You're lying. I'm not lying. You can't. It's not I'm absolutely possible. not lying. It's disgusting. I'm absolutely not lying. And I do it's not like gross. adding salt to my food. If it has salt in the recipe, fine. I'm not going to use a shaker of salt. I add pepper to fucking- everything i pepper the shit out of everything i don't like salt tell you what salt's gonna make everything taste better 
It's also very salty. Yeah, that's why that. every recipe has salt in it. For the actual recipe, if you're putting it in the food, that's fine. But I'm not gonna add more on top. What? What? Yeah, she does have a huge army. It's just salt. Tim, Tim's like a camper. Tim, you gotta I, salt your food, people. I'm not salting my food. You gotta salt your food. I'm not doing it. I'm peppering my food. I bet you have no iodine in your body. I'm I'm constantly iodinized. How? Everyone's telling me that as I'm walking down the street. <laughs> They're saying that's a that's a guy that boy. That, that's a guy with a lot of gumption and a lot of iodine. Got a lot of iodine <laughs> in his system. I can tell. They're doffing their caps to me. <laughs> Saw your food, people. Saw your food. Don't. Try it. Yeah, just eat your bland ass food all the time. I don't like bland food. I love spicy. You yeah. know this. I like a lot of spice. You know what has salt in it? Hot sauce. Yeah, I know. I'm not adding though. You if you put hot sauce on your food, you're adding salt. I'm not adding, adding salt. salt. I'm adding hot sauce that has salt in it. That's the same thing. It's that's not the, the same, same thing. thing. You're adding salt to your food. I'm adding flavor to my food. Yes, that's the same thing as that. Salt is not the same thing. It is yes! No. Yeah, who eats plain chicken breasts? I don't eat chicken breasts. Psychopaths. I don't eat chicken breasts, so... Take that, Caitlin Brienne. <laughs> Caitlin, it's, you it's Brian. You take that, Brian, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Take it to the bank is what I say. <laughs> Brian? I don't know. You're supposed to be my eyes and ears here. <laughs> your eyes are telling you to put salt on your food. No, they're not. All right, how do I fix? Oh, I love sriracha. Yeah, of course. I got kind of sick of sriracha, to be honest. So it was overdone because everybody put it on everything. I know. Everything was sriracha flavored. But tell you what, you know what's good? Green sriracha. I. Uh, it's good. Tim is the only person I've known that likes spice at a at a commensurate level to me. Um, I like things hurtfully spicy. Yeah. Um. So. Brian. <laughs> Brian. Uh, so, like, I really like, I have a, some hot sauce upstairs that is um, from Pucker Butt, which makes the Carolina Reaper. They are the progenitor of the Carolina Reaper. It is so hot and so good. Um, I'm always the person who goes into the restaurants, and no matter what it is, is like, please don't give me, like, the white people spicy. Like, give me, like, the fucking spicy. Yeah, where's the one with the, the yeah. like, the four chili peppers on? Yeah. Like, I don't want... The, what you think I'm going to think is spicy. Like, are you sure? Yeah. I remember going to Tay's, and I got their ghost pepper burger. and they The TNT one? Yeah. That's too spicy. No. It is. But she came over, the, the, the server, and she was just like, are you okay? And I said, yeah, I said I was going to be. It's fine. And she's like, I had to these guys come in here, and they started crying when they had it. And I'm like, that, I just, I like spicy. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not trying to be like macho or any bullshit i just like spicy food that burger is a little too spicy at least the one time i didn't get it but my my neighbor oscar got it because he's the same way yeah is good he uh he was like this is too much he couldn't eat it it was too spicy and i had a bite of it and i had the hiccups instantly so i uh, i do just like everybody does but it's not too bad like i, I don't have like a, a huge like reckoning the next day Thai spice and not white people's spice. Yeah, that's the problem. They ruin it for me because I can and yeah. I want it. And yeah, because yeah. I mean, and everywhere it's like, oh, try Wendy's new flamethrower yeah. burger. And, and I've had like, so many people like, oh, okay. you like spicy food? I got the thing that's going to really Here's ruin a you. Here's talkie. And it's like, it's not going to fucking, I just, trust me. Like, I'm not, again, I just want the spice. I'm not trying to be like a cool guy. Oh, yeah, the Dwayne Purvis. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. There are just a lot of things I'd rather have on a burger. I like peanut butter. I like a melty peanut butter. It's good. Yeah. Like a hot peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so like toasting your bread before you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So good. That's the move. That's absolutely the move. And I'm going to tell you right now, crack some black pepper on it. Of course. Always on everything. Is it's crack good. some black pepper it's on good. absolutely everything. Yeah. So another thing, toast your peanut butter. Don't use jelly. Use sriracha. No. Nope. Peanut butter <laughs> and sriracha is really good. <laughs> Just use some hot pepper jelly. Hot pepper jelly is also really good. Got it. But peanut butter and sriracha sandwiches are, are good. That sounds I will. Bad. Have you had it? <laughs> It it's really it's a good co flavor combination. Good. I know. I'm. I know. I'm just saying. Just trust me. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat just that. Just trust me. Sriracha. 
Ask as Katie. The flavor she, of it is not great. She'll agree with me. Katie agrees with me. It's good. Um, I will not be cracking any salt on there. Where can I? Avocado? Love avocado. I'll eat avocado all day. What? Is there nowhere I can build this? I don't know. Oh, right here. There was one spot. Mount St. Michael. Yes. PB&J, but without the PB&J. So, Brad. Just, just two slices just a of bread. Just two slices of toast. Oh. oh, look at his metal. Yeah, we should probably start wrapping it up. I'm just lost in this game, yep. this discussion. Well, it's been a good stream. About flavor. Yeah. Pedro. It's an and again, to... uh, when we stream, which, again, Thanksgiving's next week, so it'll probably be the week after Two that. weeks. Yeah, two weeks will probably be when we're back. But we will make it interactive. Ooh. If you come back, we'll be playing Jackbox. Yeah, it should be fun. Should be fun. All right. Well, Did you know re it's just like I just I can always press next turn, so it's like it's hard to stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Ah! See you next time on the next time, boys. That is what we are supposed. Yeah. Gigi no re. Gigi all me no re. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's save this. And start saying our goodbyes. Really cool. All right, I gotta go up here. Save game. Should I? I won't save over it. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> no cap. Yep. Yeah, we'll do some jack box. Some cat box. All, All right, right, everyone. Thanks for coming by. This is a fun stream. Thanks a lot. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take it easy here, and we're gonna see you next time. On the next time. Bye.